Hello and welcome to this Tech to Teach series for creativity and innovation in teaching law. I will be representing the Department of Accountancy of the College of Management, Business and Accountancy of, of the University. This presentation is entitled Flipping the Classroom, Inverting the Traditional Educational Model. The COVID-19 pandemic has greatly affected most, if not all, sectors of the economy, from retail and domestic transactions to global markets. The educational system was not spared. During the early breakout of the pandemic in the country, some schools were forced to temporarily stop operation due to the strict lockdown. Some of these schools eventually proceeded in closing their business enterprises. However, every cloud has a silver lining. Education cannot wait. Because of COVID-19 pandemic, educators and administrators are now trying to answer an important question. How do we innovate our educational system? Schools and higher educational institutions have a key or have been a key driver in pushing for innovation. We espouse the idea that the purpose of innovation is to come up with new ideas and technologies that increase productivity and generate greater output with the same input. And now we are tested on how to apply this idea. But how do we really innovate our educational system? One thing is for sure, because of the pandemic, the role of, in the classroom of teachers and students has evolved from a classic teacher-centered classroom to a student-centered classroom. In a student-centered classroom, we are, now place, we are now placing students at the forefront of their own learning, which requires them critical thinking, collaboration skills, communication skills, among others. But how do we move towards innovation? This can be addressed through flipping the classroom. To recall, the traditional model requires teacher to deliver his or her content real time. Then we give out homework so students can apply these concepts at home and to prepare them for their exams later. However, in a flipped classroom model, it differs a lot. The teacher will record the lecture, then the student will consume the content at home, at their own pace, at their own time. The application, evaluation, or elaboration of vague or confusing topics will now be done in the classroom where all students can participate. So what's new in teaching law? The study of law is a challenge as regular reader will only be reading full text. There's no picture, illustration, or example, just your plain old and classic text. But how do we ensure that the, how do we ensure to keep students engaged? To answer that one, we innovate our delivery of content. We flip the classroom. In flipping, the, in flipping my classroom, I, found, I follow four guides. C for create, A for animate, R for reflect, E for elaborate. In create, we create or I create presentation slides and record lecture beforehand. In animate, I animate the discussion by applying the legal concepts to real life scenarios. Reflect allows students to reflect on learning, on their learning and their progress. And elaborate, I conduct synchronous session to evaluate and elaborate students' learning. So create. On my end, I exert effort in creating simple presentation slides. I highlight core and complex legal concepts and try to explain them the simplest possible term. From the presentation slide, I then create and record video lectures. These lectures will, be, will, be the, will then be sent or shared to students so they can consume the lecture at their own pace, at their own time. However, just a reminder, I do not lecture all topics in the book. Otherwise, there is nothing for the student to read. Remember, in a student-centered learning, our role is to enable students to jumpstart their own learning and to ensure that they develop soft skills. And this includes reading comprehension skills. Animate. We are here, we allow students, uh, we all know the feeling that 
not, not to understand certain principles because we cannot see how they are applied in real world situation. Here, I try to associate legal principles to real world scenarios. Example, I present computation, I give sample documents, infograph infographics to make it easier for students to digest information, especially those difficult principles. Reflect. Reflection is a process wherein students who are not visual or auditory learners can have an opportunity to appreciate the subject. This allows them to write summarize and outline topics and subtopics of the law. Here, each student must digest topics, section, articles to their liking, be it in a bullet format, paragraph format, or even color-coordinated format. Elaborate. Since students are already consuming the contents at their, at their own home, the time dedicated for synchronous class will then be used to test their reading comprehension, communication, and critical thinking skills. Here, we conduct graded oral recitation to test whether the students learn something from the reading materials and video lectures presented to them. In this part of the flipped classroom, we expound on certain principles where students are, where students are having a hard time to understand. We give further examples or activities both individual activities or group activities. Lastly, an elaborate part of the flipping the classroom, it is an opportunity to give additional information to students. In my class, this is the period wherein I discuss government issuances and relate it to the provisions of the law that we are discussing. So in summary, in traditional classroom, the instructor prepares materials to be delivered in class. Students listen to lectures and other guided instructions in class and take notes. Homework is assigned to demonstrate understanding. However, in a flipped classroom, instructor records and shares lectures outside of class. Students watch or listen to lectures before coming to class. Class time is devoted to applied learning activities and more higher order thinking tasks. Students receive support from instructors and peers as needed as this is an opportunity during the synchronous class to share ideas or to ask questions on certain topics. Remember, we follow care, create, animate, reflect, and elaborate. So what happened? What happened when I apply this to the class? So in a flipped classroom, students are now forced to read because of the interrelated intricacies of classroom activities. From watching the video lectures to the preparation of the handwritten outline or notes and eventually in their preparation for the graded oral recitation. In a flipped classroom, we prepare students to their review class and for their board examination as they're already preparing their own outline or notes for the subject. The outline that they prepared will be to their own liking as, as we don't limit the type of outline that they will be doing. In a flipped classroom, students are made aware on the realities of life, that they need to develop certain soft skills, including but not limited to time management, collaboration, and presentation skills. So what now? Will I redo, modify, or discontinue some of the process of, or, of, or steps that I have undertaken? Well, on my part, there are three action items that I need to improve or modify for the next cluster or semester. First, I need to continually improve the content. As a faculty, we continue to acquire new experience and information. As such, we should also continue to improve how we create animate and elaborate our respective contents, which can be shown to our presentation slides and video lectures. That's why when I prepare my video lectures, I ensure to cut them to smaller topics or subtopics so that if there's a, an, an edit on a specific subtopic, the re-recording of the updated material or slides will not be burdensome on my end. Second, I want to improve collaboration. 
Due to the lack of available materials of my liking, I needed to create presentation slide, slides from scratch. In doing so, I lacked the time of improving my synchronous class activities and questions for oral recitation. So in the next semester, I will endeavor to provide more collaborative activities during the synchronous class. Lastly, or the third action item, I want to modify the grading system. Due to the labor-intensive activities, the handwritten outline, oral recitation, among others, there is a need to think on how to redistribute the grading system to be reflective of the student's learning and the amount of effort being poured into. At the end of the day, students must be graded based on their learning and efforts. So thank you for listening. That ends my presentation for Tech to Teach series for creativity and innovation in teaching law.